Okay, question 1.16 says the figure shows the current and the voltage across an element. Right, sketch the power delivered to the element for t equals zero and find the total energy absorbed by the element for the period of zero, a t is bigger than zero and smaller than four seconds. Okay, so for part eight, uh, we can draw the graphs and the way that I did it is kind of through like a mathematical understanding of how to draw the graph. So uh, here and here. Okay. And we say this is 4t, this is 2t, and this is watts, right? Negative watts. How much? We can calculate it real quick. Because sketches, now here's another thing. When, I don't know about college, but uh, when I was in International Baccalaureate, the word sketch is you don't have to draw every single details, but you do have to draw the maximum values, uh, cross section, I mean, the where the, the interception x and y axis, and a general form of how the graphs will look like, right? And so over here, what is power? First of all, what is power? Power is amps times, well, uh, current times voltage, right? Which is ampere times volts. Okay, so in this case, we have 60 over here and we have five. So that means five times 60 uh, equals 300. Now remember, amp is in milliamps. So we have to times 10 to the power of negative three, uh, that give us 0 0.3. And there's a positive and, and negative, and they're all, um, the volts is five and negative five, so which means it's gonna be 0 0.3 watts and um, 0 0.3 negative watts, okay. So looking at the graph, um, voltage is always the same, right? As we can tell from zero to two, zero to two seconds, Voltage is a constant, okay? And is a constant, the value is five. Now, five times the number, that gradually increase to 60, right? So what does that mean? Well, in a graph, if, an, you know, mx time plus b, and now b is zero, and we know, and x is the slope. Slope from zero, uh, the slope here, as we can tell, is 30, right? 60 divided by two, so that's, 30 and times 5 the constant now the slope is 150 we don't really have to know that i'm just showing it to you so what it means is it will reach up here right from zero uh, at a constant value right at a constant value that's the main information you should take from this equation over here and it reaches 0 0.3 now what do we see here voltage drops to zero which means it's the volts will also have to drop to zero, right? Because zero times any number equals zero. And then it slowly uh, goes to here because um, eventually it's going to go to zero. But the, the moment it starts to move, right? So like at time 1.001, 1. uh, seconds the voltage b suddenly becomes uh, negative five and amperes is at still at two i mean sorry still at 60 right so at this very instantaneous second the voltage uh goes back on again from zero to suddenly to negative five and slowly slowly the ampere decreases 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 until at four seconds ampere equals to zero voltage equals to zero and this is the entire cycle. It's kind of like an AC circuit, uh, AC current, sorry, uh, that what it's doing, but AC circuits, the alternation is a lot faster than this and is usually in, not like, uh, we have straight cor uh, corners and straight lines. Anyway, so this is the graph that you should generally have. And for part B of the question, this is an interesting, uh, question that tests your knowledge on the conservation 
of energy, law of conservation of energy. And in the book, it states that the algebraic sum of power in a cur circuit at any instant of time must be zero because, because total power supplied to the circuit must balance the total power absorbed, right? What you give, it must be absorbed. Otherwise, you, you can't give more than what it needs, right? That's just not how the circuit works. So it must be zero. We already know the answer. And also look at the graphs over here, right? There's a, a power in the positive area and there's an area under the graph and that's negative so these two cancels out as we know from the graph over here the value must be uh must be the same five and five and negative five so which we can also say well uh the sum of the power equals to zero and that's the answer the sum of power absorbed by the elements for the period of zero to four uh it's uh zero watts well it should be milliwatts right because of the milliamps okay uh, hopefully this was helpful good luck on your studies and i'll see you in my future videos bye